What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Learn Japanese from Some Guy. Got another set of problems for you today, but before we begin, as always, please be sure to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, so you'll know when new videos are released. All right, so we'll get started with our kanji base problem. So number 34 in our beginner series here, we have to choose the correct kanji characters for the highlighted words in this sentence here. So it says, Ashita no gogo wa ame desho. So how do we write ashita and gogo in kanji? So pause the video here, choose an answer, and then we'll check. All right, so the answer is 2番 desu. 明日の午後 wa雨でしょう. So we can imagine that, or I can guess that this is probably like a weather forecast because the person uses でしょう, right? So tomorrow, it is tomorrow afternoon, 明日の午後 wa雨でしょう. It's going to rain tomorrow afternoon. And again, using this でしょう is like a pretty common thing when you're listening to a forecast. Instead of saying des, they'll use でしょう. So uh, we're going to take a closer look at this character that we saw in ashita, the word for tomorrow. So uh, it can be read as me or aka, and it means bright. Right? As like an E adjective, it means bright. And I really like this character because this left side radical here is, of course, the character for sun. And on the right, we have the moon. So we put them together and we get bright. You know, you can imagine... 2,000 years ago or 2,500 years ago when someone is trying to think, you know, what what is something that is bright? Well, obviously the sun is the brightest thing and then the moon are, is very bright, right? Especially, you know, considering there's no electricity or electric lights or whatever. So they put them together to get bright. And that's how you can remember to write this character and how to read it. You take the sun and the moon, put them together, bright. But uh, anyway, now we'll take a look at some words that will uh, encounter with these characters, this character. So, for example, we have setsume, which means explain, and it's a uh, suru adjective. So, setsume suru, to explain. So, maybe you can say, for example, if you don't understand what someone is saying, you can say, Like, I don't really get it. Can you explain it to me? And next, we also have the e adjective, akarui, which just means bright you know again like a light maybe can be bright but we could also use it in a metaphorical sense you know we can say so she is a so bright person but we don't mean bright like shining or you know intelligent we mean bright like her personality a cheerful person joyful cheerful person and next we'll look at our vocabulary so number 35, we have to choose the word that best completes the sentence here. So it says, Mai asa rokuji ni oite, okite, okoshite, oshite, shigoto ni ikimasu. So how do we complete the sentence? So pause the video, choose an answer, and then we'll check. All right, so the answer is, niban desu. 毎朝6時に起きて仕事に行きます。So, 毎朝 means every morning. This character means every morning. 毎朝、朝、毎朝. Every morning, 6時に起きて, I get up at 6 and 起きて, get up and 仕事に, to work, 行きます, I go. So, I get up at 6 o'clock every morning and I go to work. 起きて仕事に行きます So now we'll take a look at our vocabulary words a little more closely So we have 起きる which we saw in the example sentence which means to get up but get out of bed not wake up but get up right so you know you can wake up and you can lie in bed for an hour or two hours maybe on your day off or whatever but 起きる means like to get up right get up out of bed So we can say for example 起きて朝ごはんを作る So I'm going to get up and make Asa gohan, breakfast. Or we could say, Kesa, nanji ni okimashita ka? So this morning, Kesa, nanji ni okimashita ka? What time did you get up? What time did you get out of bed? So maybe you can answer in the comments, nanji ni okimashita ka? Kesa. Uh, but don't confuse okiru with okosu. So again, please notice the character is the same, and the meaning is quite similar, but it means to wake someone up. So not get up yourself, but to wake someone up Maybe get them out of bed. So we can say, 
お母さんを起こして朝ごはんを作ってくれた。So, お母さんを起こして、so I woke up my mother. 朝ごはんを作ってくれた。And she made breakfast for me. 作ってくれた。作ってくれた。All right, now we'll take a look at our grammar. So, number 36, we have to complete the sentence, fill in the blank. So, it says, あの、長く髪の人は誰ですかあの、髪を長く人は誰ですかあの、髪は長い人は誰ですか And, あの、髪の長い人は誰ですか So, pause the video here, choose an answer, and then we'll check. Alright, so the answer is, 4番です。あの、髪の長い人は誰ですか So, who is that person over there? With the long hair. 髪の長い人 Who is that person? Who is that long haired person over there? Right? So we're going to take a look at how to use this structure. We have some kind of noun and no and another noun. So 髪髪の毛 means your hair. 髪の長い人 Long, long person. Person with long hair. So,、um, let's see. Here we have the example sentence. So we have our first noun in, highlighted in red. And then we have Of course, nagai is an e adjective, but we can combine our e adjectives with nouns quite easily to make, you know, like a compound kind of noun. So it says, あの髪の髪の長い人は誰ですか So who is that person with the long hair? So we have hair の髪の長い人 person with the long hair. Here we have another sentence. ピアノの上手な人を探しています。ピアノの上手な人を探しています。So I'm looking for a person who is good at the piano. So piano is of course piano, piano の上手な人。So of course, 上手 is a な adjective. So we have 上手な人。So of course, 人 is a, is a noun. So we can combine our な adjective and our noun with な to get like a compound noun, 上手な人。ピアノの上手な人を探しています。So I'm looking for a person who's good at the piano. And we'll take a look at one more example here. あの背の高い男の人が田中さんです。So that person over there, あの背の高い男の人。That tall person. So 背が高い。背の高い男の人 means tall. Like 背が高い。You are a tall person. So that tall guy over there is Tanaka. So,、uh, basically, here we're just combining you know, a noun and another, you know, maybe with no and a, a na adjective or an e adjective with some other noun to describe the quality of that person or thing. Kami no nagai hito, person with long hair. Piano no jozu na hito, person who is good at the piano. Se no takai otoko no hito, tall, that tall guy, tall man who is tall, right? So, Uh, maybe you can try and practice, you know, leave a sentence in the comments and I'll check it and,、uh, you know, try to use this grammar.、Uh, it's very common, important, you know, to understand how it works. But、uh, that's going to do it for today. So, as always, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, telling a friend. I appreciate that. If you wish to support this channel and you want to learn more Japanese, you know, grammar a little more in depthly, you can check out my textbook on Amazon. The link for that is in the description. If you do check it out, please be sure to leave a review. Really appreciate that. But、uh, that's it for today, so we'll see you next time. Mata ne!